Well, now to a follow up that we first brought you during our six o'clock newscast. An evening with Joe Torrey event was held today in Poland with the former New York Yankees manager and baseball Hall of Famer. With more details on the event, here's 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis. He's live in the studio. Joe Torrey is in the Mahoney Valley to support the Magic of Michael Foundation, which helps local families with disabilities. The foundation was created in memory of Michael Hirschbeck, the son of Major League Baseball umpire John and Denise Hirschbeck, after Michael lost his life to a brain disease. It was a day of golf with former baseball player Joe Torrey. Michael Hirschbeck's dad, John Hirschbeck, reached out to Torrey to help raise money for the foundation. I asked Joe in spring training and he said, John, you know what, I think it's a great cause and I'm going to try. And he said, just let me check the dates. And a couple weeks later, he called me back. It was an easy call for him to decide to come and show support if him simply being here helps. That's the least, you know, anybody could do for, for such a such an event and for such a cause. I'm very, very honored and that he would think of me and my family and, and of course, Michael's memory to, to be here with us. Michael died from a non-curable brain disease in April of 2014. Today, with activities like golf, the foundation will raise money from sponsors. To make it even better for me, I had a ball today. I mean, I, all I did was go around and try to putt, and, but I hung out with some people who have you know, been sponsors of this first event and really cool individuals. I had a ball. John says the money raised through this event will help the community. Especially uh, younger children, families with children with disabilities, and um, just put the money back into our community and help out any way we can. Now, in addition to golf, a dinner was held tonight as well as an auction to raise money for this cause. Definitely a great cause, Derek, and thank you for that story.